every user of e hospital whether it is doctor whether it is a specialist whether it is a, a opd operator whether it is an ipd operator whether it is an lab operator anybody whether it is a radiologist cancer institute anybody so they have to have a user id and password the nodal officer has created the user id and passwords for almost all the employees of the hospital okay so you with your registered number you will get your message okay you will get your message please check on to the message if you are not having the message you may request the nodal officer to reset the password first thing so once you reset the password you can start using the application so e hospital is a role based access okay role based access means that a doctor will be given permission to only the clinical part the opd clinics as well as the ipd clinic if in the second part in the second role if there is an opd operator so opd operator will be given permission only to operate register the patients okay similarly the third role would be the lab technicians so lab technician will be given only lab module okay so only a lab module similarly a radiologist a radiologist will be given a permission to only operate the radiology apparatus only so this is how this is a the entire suit of an e hospital is a role based access so every user has to first operate it using a user id and password user id is created by the nodal officer and the password will be obtained on the link will be obtained onto your mobile number so this is the things which you would like to remember before you start the operation and the operations will be done on the live site so before that you can if you have any doubts we have got certain master trainers at the district level we have got the roll out managers at the district level so you can contact them we have our nic dios at the district level so they will also be helping you out in any functional or any problems you are facing when operating the e hospitals okay so this is how we will be providing you full time support for successfully implementing e hospital project okay so now i will hand out to mr rahul and mr saurav they are the national trainers from delhi so rahul you can start sharing the screen okay thank you sir uh no sir the screen is visible to all yes uh so sir uh, shall we start sir now yes you can start from the url part okay sir so now as already uh, sir has told that uh, once uh, the nodal officer has provided the user id so uh, the user has to generate their password from uh, uh, from the message received on their registered mobile number then how to log in in the e hospital application for that uh, as of now the uh, e hospital application is hosted on cloud so uh, anyone can access the uh, e hospital application using their ur um, user id and password on web browser so first of all we have to open the web browser uh, we can use the chrome and uh, um, uh, firefox and type the url for the production site e hospital dot gov dot in once we will hit this url user will get this uh, logging page home page on the uh, right side of the top of the page there is a logging but uh, link once you will move the cursor on the logging uh, link uh, you will get the pop up where we have to enter the user name or user id and click on the logging button
After that, application will ask for the password and we have to enter the CAPTCHA displayed on the screen. We can use uh, CAPTCHA is not a case sensitive. We can uh, ignore the capital and a small letter of uh, letter. And click on the sign in button. After successful login, user will get this home, uh, uh, hospital home page. On the left side, uh, we can see uh, on the left side the modules are reflecting. So, uh, as already has told me, uh, told us that the uh, e hospital application is the role based application. So, as per the roles and responsibility of the user, they will get the module. In the case of doctor, only they will get the clinic module in the left side menu. In the case of operators, they will get the patient registration module in the left side mon uh, menu. But as of now, um, uh, for the demo pr purpose, we have taken all the modules permissions. That's why the all modules are reflecting in the left side menu. So uh, to open the module, we have to click on that button. So initially, uh, we will start from the patient registration. So how the patient will get the registration and then the patient will reflect in the clinic module. So first of all, uh, I will open the patient registration module just by clicking on it. Then it will ask, system will ask, module will open in the separate window. Do not forget, forget to log out from the module after finishing work. Once we will allow it, then we have to uh, allow the uh, browser to open the module in the next window. So now uh, we, uh, we are on the patient registration module part. From the left side menu, we have to click on the patient registration link to get all the available links. Using the new patient registration, we can register the new patients or using the searching, the operators can use, use the uh, existing UHIDs of the patient or health ID of the patient to, to do the new uh, revisit registration or follow up registration. From here, we can uh, use the health ID to register the patient. Or manually, we can register. Only first name is mandatory. and select the department in which we are going to register the patient. Suppose that I am selecting cardiology, then as per the configuration, application will show the rooms, whatever rooms we have configured. Like uh, the OPD, uh, cardiology OPD clinic is running in, uh, under, uh, in room number four and room number three. So uh, here we are uh, using the load balancing. So by default, uh, in which room the less uh, registration has been done, it will show in the first. Rahul, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Sir, sir, it's not clear, sir. The letters are very small and it's not visible to audience, sir. Not at all clear. Not at all clear, sir. Now it's visible. No, no, sir. And the screen also blur. Screen also not clearly visible, sir. It is uh, coming as a blur. Uh, sir, we can zoom the screen. Zoom the screen. Make the resolution more than uh, 150 or something. Uh, and go slowly. Yeah. Field by field. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now after. Go slow so that uh, when you say, when you are changing the screen, 
the uh, transmission may be slightly delayed so you can just wait little bit okay let me sir uh, let me i uh, i will off my camera because uh, it is taking too much uh, i think uh, right bye bye yes sir now it's clear to all please respond is it clear now the screen inda ke avaro respond is coming and going sir coming and going which location sir guntur sir so uh, i request uh, to all that uh, doing the presentation please off their uh, camera so because uh, the video is taking too much bandwidth now clear to all shall we proceed jijesh markapur markapur dh markapur sir mic screen visible unda proper ga yes sir yes sir visible sir like flickering led kada i know not, nothing sir yeah okay okay uh yeah, area hospital nasra pet nasra pet my okay, sir is going to okay sir it is uh, visible sir okay uh, shrikakulam shrikakulam the Yes, Vijay Nagaram. Sika Kulam, Vijay Bala. Yes, sir. Vijay Nagaram. DH Vijay Nagaram. GJS Kaki Nada. Responding, sir. स्क्रीन विजिबल गुंडा सर एंसर स्क्रीन प्रॉपर का विजिबल गुंडा फ्लिकरिंग आउट ना सर स्क्रीन बाने कान पड़ते ना फ्लिकरिंग गुंडा आ फिंगरिंग ना सर सर स्क्रीन बाग कान पड़ते ना आ कान पड़ते ना सर बाने कान पड़ते ना सर इट्स विजिबल सर ओके ओके गुंटूर सारी डिस्कनेक्ट कनेक्टारी नैटवर्क इश्यू सर नैटवर्क सर रेस्पारी मल्ल कनेक्टी मल्ल कनेक्टी Shall we start, sir? Just one second. Okay. 
Sorry for banning your condition, sir. Okay. Now, Saro, go ahead. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So uh, now we have selected the department, and as per the configurations, available rooms uh, will reflect in this uh, button format. So just operator has to select uh, the rooms, then the color becomes green, then they have to click on the save button to generate OPD slips. So if the patient is coming first time, then only we have we need to. Uh, Register the patient using the new registration link. So the patient will get the new uh, UHID, unique health ID uh, of the uh, within the hospital. So the next for the next time, not need to uh, register, uh, fill the all details. We will get the demographic sir, details of the patient. Oh, sir, Rahul, sir, sorry to disturb. Again, same problem, sir. Yeah, please, sir. Sir, Again, same maybe problem, sir. Not, not at all visible. Uh, sir, please check your internet at your end. Maybe uh, there is some problem in internet. Okay, sir. Uh, maybe slowly, uh, uh, due to bandwidth, uh, it is uh, the pictures is coming slowly. So uh, just we are uh, holding the uh, screen here. So you will get the uh, clear visibility. Gun now it's Guntur. coming clear. Guntur, I request you sir. to just check the frequency at which your projector and uh, screen is operating. It is 50 hertz or okay, 60 sir. hertz. When the uh, frequency doesn't match, you will get the flickering. Okay. All the sites are working fine. There's uh, some local issue is there. Or you can put the lap one laptop there for temporarily. Or try to change a laptop. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah, go ahead, Rahul. Okay, sir. Uh, now we can see uh, on the slip we are showing the consulting room number, then the patient token number, uh, the queue number, and the demographic details of the patient. So, as per the requirement, we have a uh, five types of slips. So hospital can select the slips uh, for OPD registration as per the requirement. After registration, the doctor can see the total patient register in their room. So now we will move on the clinic part, clinic module. For that, from the home page, we have to open the clinic module just by clicking on it and allow browser to open the module in the separate window. Now under the clinic module, just click on the clinic link. So you will get the all available sub modules and links. The first link is clinic visit. From here, the doctors can able to search and get the list of the patient registered in their room just by selecting the clinic. First of all, we have to select the clinic. Uh, I have registered one patient in cardiology clinic. So just uh, we, uh, we are selecting the cardiology. Then the available room. Uh, in how many rooms the cardiology clinic is running, that room will reflect here as per the configuration. So uh, I have registered the patient in uh, room number three. Shift is by default is morning. Then click on the next button. Sorry, room number four. Then click on the next. So now today, for today, uh, we have registered uh, 
two patient get the registration from the uh, OPD counters. So the queue numbers are also reflecting here one and two. So one by one, doctors can select the patients by clicking on this select button to register in their clinic. Once we will click on the select button link, the application will uh, uh, get the details of the patient like UHID, age, gender, and date of registration. And also it will show the patient types. Is it a uh, new or patient uh, or follow up or revisit? Then we are getting here three buttons like registered and create access health record, skip registration and create access health record and only register patient to clinic. There is a little bit difference between three uh, buttons. Using the first button, suppose that doctor needs to give some test before giving the medicines to this uh, particular uh, patient. So in this case, doctor can use the first button to register patient in, in the clinic. So uh, if you will use the first button, the application will redirect on the order entry advanced page from uh, from where the doctor can able to prescribe some test. So after getting the test report, doctor will uh, give the uh, generate the prescription. If such scenario is available, uh, is available with this patient, then we have to use first button. In the second uh, button, suppose that uh, the doctor found that the patient not belongs from their clinic. Then they can skip the registration from the clinic and if needed, they can uh, give some test. So uh, if you will use the uh, skip registration and create access health record in this, using this button also, the application will throw the order entry advance page. By default, the uh, user will re uh, redirect on the order, order entry advance page. Using the third button, only register patient to clinic. So uh, application will need not redirect on any page. So uh, if the doctor needs to uh, capture the details, the symptoms of the patient in detail, then they can use this uh, only register patient to clinic button. So once we will register the patient under the treatment submodule, not need to search patient again by default on the edge each page, the, the register uh, the register patient will reflect before registering the patient we can uh, capture the uh, vitals of the patients like height weight it can be uh, done by the op, uh, clinic uh, in charge also and body temperature on the save button. Now we are going to use the first link. So uh, we can see after uh, registering the patient, system will re uh, redirect on the order entry advanced page. So from where the doctor can able to give some tests before prescribing any medicines. If doctor wants to give some tests, then they will pres uh, prescribe the uh, medicine according to the report. Then they can use the uh, doctor can use this first button. So system will ask register uh, successfully your clinic registration number uh, for today's three patient we have registered in the clinic. Then click on the OK button. So now we can see by default system. Uh, has been re uh, redirected on the order entry advanced page. From here, doctor can view the previous re uh, done reports using this link, lab consoli uh, consolidated report. They can get the reports lab-wise, like uh, biochemistry, macrobiology, pathology, and also they can use the filters to get the previous done report. So it will help to uh, prescribe the medicines. From here, the uh, doctor can search the uh, service 
from the all category or category wise they can search suppose that any biochemistry test we need to order then we can select the uh, category biochemistry all biochemistry related test whatever test we have added in this uh, system that will reflect here according to the hospitals master data so now uh, we are going to uh, uh, also we have uh, created two packages like a liver function test and plasma glucose we can give the package also or one one uh, or if needed single service we can order just click to order the service just click on this button arrow button so we can able to view here the order service if doctor has logged in with the, their id their name will be uh, fixed here fixed as a recommended by then need to verify the observation entry just click on the save button if any comment we want we can give the comments and click on the save button from here we can able to give the requisition slip if needed otherwise we can skip it so uh, this is the requisition slip we can give the print out to present otherwise we can skip same uh, we can give the consolidated uh, requisition slip if you have used the multiple categories um, uh, to order the service then we can give this uh, use the print requisition slip consolidated or we can give the print barcode slip also so as per the requirement doctor can use this uh, two uh, two uh, or three uh, buttons to give the requisition slip now we can see here the order uh, has been placed the service has been uh, given by the doctor so the status is active once the sample will be collected their sample collection time and date will reflect here so doctor can uh, easily see uh, see the status of the sample once the sample has been uh, the order and uh, observation entry has been done by the lab and verification done by the lab then the view link will be enabled here under the report column so using the view link one by one the doctor can view the reports or under the consolidated lab consolidated report button they can view the consolidated report form with the uh, analytics like uh, uh, also it will show the compares for, uh, from the previous uh, same report if we had done that statics we uh, we can see under this uh, lab consolidated report button now the order has been given so <clears throat> we will move on the next part treatment <clears throat> under the treatment uh, sub module we have a multiple links we can capture um, the details if needed and we can directly generate the prescription so uh, under the first link presenting illness so here we not need to uh, search the patient by default application will take the currently registered patient in all the links all the page whatever page uh, available under this treatment module so now we can capture the complaints details complaint uh, details we can uh, capture using the snomed city directory so just just uh, it will it can be searched by the words like if i will type the fever so we will get the suggestion uh, drop down here so we can choose the uh, complaints uh, from the suggestion uh, drop down also or it is free handed also so we can type so like uh, just i am selecting the fever after vaccination if any remarks doctor wants to give they can enter here
also uh, according to uh, their requirement the doctor can create the parameters to capture the detail under the presenting illness physical examination links so it can be configurable so like we can see here the painful stomach so uh, we have created the um, drop down value and also we have added the icd 10 for this particular uh, parameters and click the save button so uh, now under the previous complaint details doctor can able to view all the previous captured complaint detail of this particular patient if any specific templates they want to create they can use this link configure a specific template from here the template for department and by default the patient is available in the cardiology department by the, uh, that's why the system is taking cardiology the purpose we can select uh, for the complaint detail like from uh, we are going to add the parameters under general examination systematic examination local examination and under the complaint just we have to select the purpose then we can add the parameters here under the group we can add multiple parameters so first of all we have to add the groups or we can use the default groups like uh, we can see already added groups are uh, showing here the stomach pain the taste <laughs> So whatever group we will add, but add. Uh, sir, please, uh, please mute your mic. So, uh, if we need a group under this drop down. we have to use this button add new group so we can add the groups name under this drop down and then then after we can select the group from the drop down and add the header name here like the sub groups then parameters like under uh, under the stomach pain we have added uh, one uh, header name the left abdomen and under that we can add the parameters we can select the parameters from the drop down name the type of the parameters is available in the drop down event or uh, findings then add the parameters name here in the text box then control type for cap uh, capturing the data we can take the uh, check box text text uh, area sensitive uh, drop downs and dynamic drop downs under the dynamic drop down we can add the drop down value and separated by the comma so uh, under the cardiology clinic these parameters will reflect under complaint details page under the uh, presenting illness link so already we have added the left abdomen we can see here the painful stomach and we have taken the sensitivity uh, drop down here and using the icd 10 details so uh, these parameters are coming so according to the requirement uh, whatever det details uh, doctors are capturing under the cardiology department they can fill the parameters also it will uh, uh, it will used uh, and it will uh, give the take the uh, less time to capture the details of the patient so same we can done for the history also 
under the history we can search the uh, history related details by word like uh, if any history have a patient have any history like pain in ear pain in lips pain in tongue we can kept uh, uh, we can select from the suggestion drop down and give the remarks if needed all all fields are optional so as per the requirement doctor can use and can capture the details it will help uh, while prescribing the medicine at the time of follow up so doctor can easily see the previous complaint details previous history of the patient on this page the next link link is physical examination under uh, the physical examination there is a three tabs general examination systematic examination and local examination these three types of examination we can do according to the patient conditions under the gen uh, general examination tab we have a vitals more vitals we can capture so uh, already we have done the vitals for this particular patient like uh, body temperature bp respiratory rate pulse rate heart rate height weight according to the height weight application will calculate the bmi also we can use the time to capture the vitals under the ipd and under the opd so general examination also we can search the uh, details from the uh, fortification details from the sunomet city directory if you will uh, i will type pain so it will give the pain uh, related details under the uh, suggestion drop down like pain relief pain control pain assessment pain management we can give the remarks and also the parameters are coming as per the configuration we can select the parameters it will reflect department wise or clinic wise same we can do for the systematic we can search the details from the suggestion drop down by typing the words like fever fever treatment fever uh, management yellow fever screening etc we can give the remarks if needed otherwise we can skip also same we can do for the uh, local examination and also we can view the previous examination done who have done the examination details the user name will reflect here after click on it it will show the details with the date and time then under the allergic detail page we can capture the allergic details of the patient like if uh, patient have any medication allergy we can select uh, the values value just by uh, checking the check box and select the uh, value from the drop down like it mild mild to moderate 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 to severe severe and fatal if any food related in, um, uh, allergies are available then we can select that one also environmental allergy and any beets related allergy then if any medication related the specific medicines we want to enter we can type here also and if the um, uh, pharmacy module our pharmacy module is running with the hospital we can select the medicines from uh, a pharmacy also 
whatever medicine we have added under the pharmacy module that will reflect here so doctor can select the medicine's name and type also and click on the save button then we will move on the diagnosis page here two way we can capture the diagnosis of the patient uh, in the uh, codification clinical codification format using sonomat ct and icd10 for sonomat ct we can use this text box from here we can search the diagnosis name from the sonomat ct directory like i have typed fever so all the fever related diagnosis is coming in this uh, suggestion drop down fever after vaccination then we have to mark here it is provisional diagnosis or final diagnosis so before test we can mark as a provisional and click on the save button in the case of covid patient we can mark here the covid confirm or covid suspected patient just clicking on this button if the patient is covid suspective then we can mark yes if the patient is confirmed covid uh, case is confirmed then we can mark that confirmed if you need we can use the uh, diagnosis uh, we, we can capture the diagnosis code from icd10 directory by clicking on this use icd10 we can uh, uh, using the different type we can search the the, the codes icd codes locally or open with the who site by word we can search like for fever <coughs> we will get all the codifications uh, related from the fever symptoms so from here we can uh, select the code and we have to mark as a provisional or final diagnosis and click on the save button so all capture diagnosis details will reflect here Uh, whatever diagnosis we have done for this particular patient we will get all the histories if the doctor has wrongly entered any uh, diagnosis they can delete and recapture the diagnosis again or if want uh, if they want to uh, take the print out so they they can select the check box as per the requirement and click on the print button so it will print we can take the print out of the diagnosis detail so after done the diagnosis we can move on the generate prescription but these uh, the, the every uh, links are optional so as per the requirement of the doctor they can use they can directly generate the prescription also but if the if we will capture all the details it will reflect on the prescription so on the prescription page we can able to view the diagnosis detail whatever diagnosis we have captured whatever complaints details we have captured like the general examination the systematic examination and get data from the order entry page if you have ordered any service from the order entry page that data also we can get here also we can see the order service is reflecting here so from uh, from the prescription page also doctor can order the service as, uh, as per the configuration if we have created the biochemistry category so under that biochemistry whatever service are available we can select if already we have uh, ordered the service from order entry advance page then uh, while generating the prescription we can uncheck it and new one we can add so from here we can uh, prescribe the drugs 
we can add more, more roles for the um, investigation or medicine. Uh, one uh, functionality we have added here. So if the hospital using our pharmacy module or inventory module, they can able to select medicines from the pharmacy also by enable, enabling these features. Medicine available in the pharmacy. Just click on the on radio button. Application will ask to select the pharmacy. Whatever pharmacy we have added under the pharmacy module that will reflect here. So the, the medicine uh, which are available in a stock in the particular uh, sub stores, only that medicines will reflect in the drop down while searching the medicine name. I have selected the pharmacy sub stores. So now when uh, we are going to uh, Describe the medicines. So by later, it will uh, give the drop downs, whatever uh, air related medicines are available in the pharmacy. So by clicking the by double click on this medicine, we can select it. We can give the dose. Dose can be a uh, uh, quantity in uh, will be considered as a quantity in pharmacy module. So we can give and we can give the advice here. BD and duration for how many days they have to take this uh, uh, medicines <clears throat> for five days. For another medicine we can give here, like brufen, the quantity of the medicine, two, OD. And duration of the days. Two days for two days. Also, the doctor can create the templates, predefined templates, so uh, it will the, take less time to generate the prescription. After generating the prescription, the doctor can able to view the old prescription of this particular uh, patient. So from here, we can. Uh, we can able to see the templates, whatever templates we have captured, like the viral fever, the general fever, the P, uh, PTC follow-up, the normal fever. So also we can create the templates. It will uh, take less time to generate the prescription. Doctor can give the notes here. and click on this generate prescription button. The system will ask, we can generate prescription in ticket format or A4 size. A4 size will contain all the details, all the diagnosis details, whatever details we have captured. And click on the confirm prescription button. So now here we can see all the prescribed medicines, whatever medicines we have prescribed for this patients that are coming here, the prescribed Investigations is, are coming and the complaint details, general examination, systematic details, allergic details and diagnosis and notes. Whatever notes we have entered, that notes is also coming. It will show the doctor's name also who have generated these prescriptions. We can take the printout and go to the back on the same page. Now, after generating the prescription, we can see here the date and uh, date, month, and year wise, the prescription will reflect here. We can take the duplicate printout of the prescription and using the uh, same prescription, we can generate another one just by removing some medicines and adding some medicines. If the medicines are checked, means we are going to uh, prescribe the same medicines. If you will uncheck it, it will not uh, go to the next uh, upcoming uh, prescriptions. We can create the templates as per the requirement. As we can see here for vitals, 
uh, we have selected the two medicines and some test liver function test for the vital pa um, patients viral patients so that are coming here so it will take less time to generate one prescription how to create the templates uh, here we can see the create templates button on the prescription page just click on it we can give the name of the template here and we can select the clinic for which we are going to use this template then we can select the medicines if we have added uh, if we are using the pharmacy module we can select the medicines from uh, pharmacy also we can search by group by name or by using the alias under the search tab like we are going to add the antibiotics we will get the available antibiotics uh, sorry anti allergics medicines under the antibiotics all the antibiotics will reflect we can define the quantity and advice that will be by default filled on the prescription page just clicking on the caption name on this template we can add the investigations also whatever uh, investigations are available with our uh, hospitals that we can select here by selecting the checkbox we can add the investigation in this template if any procedure we want to add that uh, that procedure we can also select here we can add the immunization or other services in this template and after adding the detail just i am adding the details under the respective columns like the, for the medicine we, we are able to see here for investigations and then click on the save button currently we have zoomed the page so now we can get the button save template so after click on the save template template will be saved and visible at prescription page under the available templates field so more than one template we can add as per the requirement so uh, many ways we can generate the prescription using the old prescription we can uh, create new one just adding and removing the medicines and uh, and uh, investigations or using the template available template we can able to generate the prescription now the next link is patient progress report here in uh, we can get the progress report of the individual patient by default it will show the current registered patient we can use the new search button to search new one patient it will show the all the patient treatment details whatever details we have captured like the presenting illness physical examination histories general examination allergic detail diagnosis and vitals whatever vitals we have captured we can able to view in graphical representation one by one we can see the body temperature the blood pressure the pulse rate the respiratory rate the heart rate and bmi bmi then all the investigation details <clears throat> whatever investigation uh, investigation has been done besides the that we can view here the procedure we can view the medicine whatever medicine we have given 
and also we can the doctor can able to view how much quantity has been dispensed by the pharmacist whatever other services we have given that part also we can see here and if the investigation uh, has been done and verification um, has been done by the doctor then the doctor can able to view the reports here also then next one is opd service entry and the order entry advance page uh, this is the old link so uh, using the opd service entry also we can able to give the uh, prescribe the investigation if needed but uh, the order entry advance is the advance uh, link so here the doctor can get the more functionality like they can uh, add the medicines also they can view the consolidated report they can view the individual reports prepared by the doctor so for this for this particular patient just i am going to prepared one report so you can able to view the reports here so for that first of all we have to take the sample of this particular patient now i have to log in again because session has been out so under the laboratory module we have to collect the sample first by selecting the sample collection center we have to search the patient by uhid we will get all the order service here for plasma and ag ratio we have to collect the sample we can uh, the uh, the collection center user can give the specimen site it is optional and by default the system will pick as per the configuration the labs in which the uh, the procedure has been uh, the report procedure has been done click on the save button one sample number will be generated we can take the sample number uh, print out barcode to stick on the vials the lab technicians can check the quality of the sample they can reject it so after rejection of the sample the call, uh, sample collection user can able to collect again without ordering the sample now we have to do the observation entry here biochemistry lab we can search the patient through uhid also or by selecting the lab and uh, lab of center and lab just click on the sample number link the application will allow to enter the values here if we have created the templates the templates will appear otherwise it will show the without template based entry now we have to give the entries also as per the configuration we can able to view the normal range one point eight and click on the save button so now the observation entry has been done the verification is pending so uh, without verification we can uh, can't able to take the print out of the report now the verifier has to verify the report they can able to edit the um, observation entries here they can give the verification comment select all they can do the mark for review here so after uh, after verifying the reports they can able to uh, regenerate the report with the different values observation entries if needed we can mark for review also 
and verify it. After verifying the report, we can get the print option here. From here also we can take the printout or the doctor can able to view from their end also. Just we have we need to refresh the page. So now we can get the status, the report done date and time. And now the verification has been done. So view links are enabled here. Using the view link one by one, we can see the reports. If the result is uh, less than and more than the normal range, it will be highlighted. Under the lab consolidated report, we can able to view the reports also. And it will uh, analyze from the previous reports. For the next time, if we'll do, uh, if we will order the same investigation, so uh, the doctor can easily analyze the, uh, from the previous observation uh, result. Now, uh, up to the treatment, we have done, uh, do the all the links. Under the others documents, we can uh, upload the documents if any patient have, the documents can be uploaded. But if uh, um, we are using the e-hospital application, then all the previous records, the lab reports, the prescriptions, that by, uh, by default we can able to see, uh, view under the treatment module. We can get the discharge summary report of the patient. Document summary, sorry. If any uploaded, we can get the detail. The doctor can generate the duplicate registration slip here. In the case of surgery, we can uh, use the OT module also to, uh, to schedule the surgery. So for that, using the consolidated OT surgery link, we can order the service. First of all, we have to order the procedures, all the proces uh, whatever procedures category we have uh, created that will reflect here. We have to order the service first, verify it. We need to select the doctor. Now we can schedule the procedure for the respective group unit or, or in, uh, individual theaters. So it is the complete module for the OT management. So from here we can easily define uh, unit wise, we can define the for the bypass surgery Already we have defined the OTs and the staff surgeons, assistant surgeon, who will, the, uh, who will be the OT technicians, all details we have already configured. So uh, just by selecting the units, the respective drop-down will be filled. Just we have to select the surgery time, date, and uh, like the anesthesia time and date, and click on this save records or proceed button. After that, we will get uh, get the uh, inter-OP monitoring. Just I will show you the uh, view here. For 11th, we are going to schedule the OT. We'll give the anesthesia 12 5 p.m.
just selecting the anesthesia techniques spinal and click on the save or save records or proceed on the next so before that we have to select the procedure order procedure So after done, after saving the, uh, uh, scheduling the OT, we will get the details here. From here, we can do other parts. Like we can uh, select the, uh, we can capture the pre-anesthesia details, pre-operative details, anesthesia details, post-anesthesia details, post-operative uh, details entry, surgery notes, anesthesia notes, and safety checks details. We can capture the detail. And also after that, we can do the inter-OP monitoring, like the vitals monitoring, intake details, and outtake details. Then we can get the surgery um, reports here, different reports like the OT theater wise report, surgery wise MIS, OT theater wise surgery lists, OT surgery wise, uh, OT surgeon wise surgery list, surgery note report, surgery checking lists. So this part we can do uh, here and under the report module the doctor can able to view the clinical reports how many patients has been registered in the clinic and just we have to open the report module first click on the ok to allow open in the uh, separate window go to the clinic uh, module part click on the clinic mis here we have a different types of reports especially for the doctor Periodically, doctor can uh, use, can select, uh, can generate the reports clinic-wise or for uh, patient type-wise, for new, for revisit, or for all. We can say, uh, select the date range for this month. How many patients we have registered in the particular clinic? We can select the clinic here for cardiology. For this month, how many patients has been registered with the details, like the procedures, whatever procedures we have done, that part also it will show. And how many patients we have seen, the doctor has seen um, under the cardiology clinic. Surgery schedule printout we can take using this link. Patient clinical data. We can get the clinical data also of the patient by searching the UHID, by department, date. So here we can get the clinical data, like the diagnosis, investigation, same as we have seen under the patient progress report. We can get the clinic visit MIS. by selecting the clinic, date range, and the users, the doctor. Doctor wise report. Currently I have seen only one patient in cardiology. And also the disease wise, we can get the reports using the ICD-10 and Sonomet CT. We can able to get the reports disease wise. 
so sir uh, we have completed the uh, clinical module uh, functionality if anyone have any questions and any doubts please ask sir we can uh, inform the ipd part also okay sir sir in ipd only clinical part right sir yes how the patient is to be admitted in ip and how the treatment is being done there okay so uh, under the ipd we have a, a module admission discharge transfer so uh, using the first using the first uh, sub link uh, sub module ipd admission uh, under that uh, we have a link existing patient we can source the patient to uhid so this patient is already registered so we have to take another patient the application will uh, through the cr number from here just we need to uh, all the details will appear whatever details we have captured while doing the uh, registration then department we have to select if the patient is mlc case then uh, we can mark as mlc yes or no while doing the admission just we have to select the department and the unit and the ward and as per the configuration the beds and wards will reflect in the respective drop down we can select the available beds it will show the all the available beds here if the beds are not available we can use the floor option also on this uh, currently i am using the ndmc template so i am uh, i will be able to select the uh, bed level and uh, treating doctor on this templates but as per the requirement hospital can uh, if uh, hospital allowing that from the admission counter they are not able um, the uh, the the counter user will not able to give the beds only the concerning department will be responsible to allocate the bed they can use triple r templates so the operator will only able to select up to ward level just we can select the treating doctor and click on the save generate ticket so we have a two types of uh, ipd uh, admission slip one is a4 size and, and another one is a ticket size so currently we can uh, see here this is the a4 size admission slip it will contain the uh, ip number once the patient will admitted in the uh, ipd they will get one ip number in patient number with uh, the other details uh, the available the demographic detail is available with this uhid if any uh, emergency contact number we have taken while uh, admitting the patient that will reflect here after admission the patient will goes to the for the treatment so the, we have a separate module for treatment under the treatment module some module same link we can use like the presenting illness we can use to capture the complaints of the patients as we have already seen under the clinic module the same links are available under the treatment module just the prescription part is not available we can do the physical examination under that we can do uh, general examination systematic examination local examination like uh, if we have captured the presenting illness like a pain pain in ear for that uh, we have admitted the patient observed yes save then we can capture the all the details all the details will appear on the discharge summary report whatever details we have captured here like uh, if we have uh, we are capturing the physical examination that will be printed on the discharge summary report
like allergic detail we can order the service if doctor wants some uh, to do some test for this particular patient the uh, services can be ordered uh, let me take the patient which we have admitted and in here we can capture the physical examination the vitals of the patient under the ipd by selecting the hours also hours minutes and am pm then the pain examination we have done pain relief can give the remarks edit so whatever detail we will capture for this particular patient that will be printed on the discharge summary report if any allergic detail we have captured want to capture we can capture here to save it then any test we need to perform for this particular patient so that test also can be ordered from ipt so just i am going to give one test like albumium just verify it so by default it will reflect in the sample collection center the diagnosis can be captured using the snomet ct and icd10 and mark by default the login doctor's name will be selected or maiden can select the doctor's name so nurses can also in, do the entries here we can capture the icd10 we can search the codes by word mark as a provisional and save it now in the case of ipd patient we have a service cancellation link if the sample collection has been not done has not done so the uh, the service cancellation can be can be do, do by the concerning user but after availing the service we will not uh, get the get the right to cancel the service so before taking the sample Uh, only we can able to cancel the services using the ipd service entry we can do the service entry also uh, both page are same ipd and order entry advance page are same and from here also the doctor can able to view the reports already done reports we can view and using the consolidated uh, report link also we can uh, view the all previous results using the search button search patient we can get the uh, details of the patient just by clicking on this uhid we'll get all the details who have admitted this patient the patient uh, wards and other things like the patient name the guardian name the relationship with the guardian the address telephone number gender age relation department ward current status is admitted or discharged who have admitted this patient and who have released this patient also nurses can do the notes create the notes 
वार्ड वाइज So the nodes can be done, uh, and also the node priority we can define. The node priority can be exon, doctor nodes, and program nodes. The priority we can set here, routine or urgent, and under these we can create the nodes. And under the node, we can add the comments and view the comments. So on the daily basis, they can create the notes. Uh, under that, they can add the comments, whatever comments has been given by the doctor while um, doctor was on wrong. So under that uh, treatment module, we can capture the EHR of the admitted patient. Also, we have a transfer. So uh, two way we can use the transfer. Um, module one is directly we can transfer the module uh, uh, transfer the patient in the uh, respective wards or departments so the transfer type we have a uh, four types of transfer like department to department we can transfer the patient under the same department we can use the units transfer we can use the ward transfer and under the ward we can use the bed transfer option also so using this transfer link directly the patient can transfer in the respective ward but if hospital wants to raise the request for transfer and then the concerning ward has to verify the transfer then only the transfer uh, transfer will be done that part also the doctor uh, the hospital can use so the we have a two way process for the transfer of the patient so first of all, the, uh, the respective ward has to raise the transfer request by selecting the transfer type. Then after verifying the transfer by the concerning ward, the transfer will be done. And otherwise, they can cancel the transfer request also. We can generate the death uh, details here, death, like the death case entry, form for generation, death case verification and we can get the death case reports also in the case of death for the newborn baby we can use uh, this module to register the newborn baby then we have a discharge module after completing the treatment we can discharge the patient and generate their discharge summary report so we have a two way of um, we have to use the two levers to discharge the patient. First of all, we have to notify the discharge. It can be done by the maiden and any uh, sisters. So we can select the discharge type here: normal discharge, door case entry, lamba, absconding case entry, missing from the IPD case entry, uh, denied admission after BHT. And the pen, uh, pending patient status operation, uh, etc. In the case of death, we have to use this issue territory death certificate option to discharge the patient. Then only that patient will reflect under the uh, death module to do other activities like the death case entry, form four generation, and death case verification. In the normal case, we can use the normal discharge options here. Click on the next button. We can select, we can search the patient ward wise or by UHID, we can get the patient detail here. Click on the notify discharge button. So the application will show all the details, whatever details we have captured while doing the treatment. So not need to fill here. Suppose that for admit for, we have already capture the detail on the treatment module. So the uh, like the for region of pain, we have admitted this patient. So by default in the admit for option, it is coming. We have done that part under the treatment module under the physical presenting illness. We have already captured the uh, stomach CT diag uh, diagnosis from stomach CT and ICD-10. 
so that part is coming here if you have do, uh, done the some order entry we can select the order entry order service here and we'll add in the uh, add on the discharge from ready port we can give the treatment given in brief it is optional condition during discharge condition of the patient okay advice take rest and just take rest we can do uh, give the uh, summary here we have to select the doctor who have given the uh, permission to discharge this patient by default the treating doctor whatever treating doctor we have selected at while doing the admission that will be uh, checked here if you want to mention their name on the discharge summary report so uh, so we can keep it as checked if we don't want to show the treating doctor name on the discharge summary report we can uncheck it if any procedural names we have giving uh, given for this patient by default it will come otherwise we can skip just it will show also the bill settlement pending means if the any uh, we are charging the service amount for the ipd any uh, ipd patient to avail any service so that part we have to uh, done through the billing module if that is not done so the uh, the sisters can able to view the bill settlement pending means they can say to the attendant or the patient they have to go to the billing counter and settle the bill first then they will do the discharge process notify discharge so multiple time uh, we can save the uh, notify discharge details in draft and also we can take the print out we can see here if i am going to do the notify discharge again with the with normal discharge type so here we can get the notify discharge uh, not notify detail by uhid or by ward so here we can get the edit option for the next time and also if we want to take the print out of the previous discharge detail provisional discharge we can get the print out also but after verifying the discharge the patient will be discharged from the ward and their bed will be vacant released so now just i am going to uh, i have searched the patient through uhid select it for the verifying discharge process the verifier has right they can edit the details here after verifying the all details just they have to click on this discharge and print certificate if everything is fine they can go for the discharge once they will click on the print on discharge certificate button the discharge summary report will be generated so now here we can see the drug allergens details is available the services whatever services we have given that service will uh, uh, will reflect here if the observation entry has uh, is done by the lab that result will also show here and all the diagnosis details like icd10 admit for region physical findings condition during discharge all the details will reflect here and if needed we can take the duplicate discharge certificate also by searching the by using this search criteria so now uh, these are the sir our um, uh, ipd's uh, module functionality 
sir anything else uh, we have to show where to show hello sir any doubt if anyone have any uh, query please ask Yes. Anybody may respond. Any hospital? Nujibedu. Area hospital. Nujibedu. Nujbid Hospital, please respond. GJ Chongol. GJ Chongol. Ongol, please respond. Yes, yeah. Guntur. Sir, Guntur responding, sir. Hmm. Any doubts? No doubts, sir. So in the break, we would like to just uh, take uh, once again test your uh, audio video there. Guntur. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, in the break, we would like to test your entire uh, setup once again, so so that you not have any flickering and uh, display problems. Okay, sir. Sure, sir. Yeah. Dish Anka Palli. Sorry, sir. DHS. Sir, no doubt, sir. Uh, sir, 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 no doubt. Can, sir, we can stop the screen sharing. Okay. Okay. Yes, Nagari. Nagari. Yes, Nagari. GJ Chongol. Nagari, Nagari respond. GJ Chongol. Mother Pali, Mother Pali, any doubt? No. Okay. Mother Pali, no doubt, sir. GJ Jongol. KGH. KGH, Vishakapatnam. KJ Vishakapatnam. Karnol. GJ Karnol. Uh, sir, no, no doubt, sir. We have followed. Okay. Markapur. Hello, sir. Hello. Chapandi. Ah, yes, sir. Clear, sir. Clear, sir. Okay. 
so my uh, request to all of you is if you have any doubt if you would like to attend the training once again malli manaki rep kuda training undi malli monday tuesday kuda training undi so malli 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 kavalante malli vinochu so kabatti evarkaina doubts unna edaina malli meer vinal vendalchukunna ide training sessions lo meer attend kavachu okay okay so uh, if there are any doubts if there are no doubts we will close the session and afternoon we will start at 3 o'clock for all the operators okay thank you thank you all thank you sir sir can i uh, leave the meeting sir Sir, voice is not coming. Voice is not coming, sir. Yeah, you can uh, leave the meeting and uh, join it around two thirty to two forty so that we can test the sites once again. Okay, sir. Okay. Wherever we are having some display issues, we will test it again. Sir, uh, yeah. After finishing the lunch. Yes, yes. Ongol is having some doubts. It seems. One second. Yes, Ongol, respond. जीजे जंगोल एनी डाउट Your voice is not audible, Ungol. Jee Jee, Jee Jee, Wada. Jee Jee, Jee Jee, Wada. All doctors don't say the name. So be happy, Abla. Enjoy, happy, happy. So if there are no doubts, we can stop the session. Okay. Hello, sir. Why is it important, sir? Hello. Vijayada, sir. Jijay, Vijayada. Ah, Jijay, Vijayada. Why is it important, sir? Chapandi. No doubt, sir. Okay. हेलो सर हेलो और वीडियो डिस्टर्ब कर रहा है विजयवाड़ा गुंटूर स्क्रीन सफर चेक चेंडी You are visible on the screen, John. Now, now the screen is better. Yeah, you can talk on the uh, screen. The screen. We have a microphone. 
Uh, you have a microphone. Are you able to hear me? Yeah, we are able to hear you. Yeah, your voice is also audible to me. Okay, then I can get the microphone. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, then. Okay, okay, then. Uh, yeah, now this, this system is okay now. Yes. yes. Well, the same is hmm. Okay, so we'll have a quick lunch and join us. Okay. So we can have a quick lunch and join. Okay. Sir, DH Atmapur has a small request, sir. Certainly. Uh, sir, if you share the VC video, you can share the future reference. Sir, Chapandi, Malli, Malli, repeat, sir. Sir, Chapandi, Malli, Malli, repeat, sir. Malli, Malli, repeat, sir. Malli, Yes, already recorded in the Pambistan. Okay, sir. Chala, thank you, sir. Okay, already recorded in the Mal Pambistan. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Thank 